And instead of moving forward in the direction of where we know what we want is, we just turn around and go, no thanks, I'm just gonna wander around into the darkness over here, bumping into random things and hope that I get what I want. Then we complain and cry, and this, this is never gonna happen for me. Why can't I lose weight? Why can't I control myself around food? Why can't I bring chocolate into the house and stay sane? Why is this for everybody else and not for me? Why does my body look like this? Why does it look like that? We are wandering around in the darkness so much we I we I say we like I've just dragged you all into my drama I've had like the the week from hell I've just classified it now the week from hell and I don't have a lot of them but uh yeah it wasn't the funnest week like I'm not gonna rank it up there with the highlights of my life it wasn't the funnest week on my on my calendar of experiences but these things happen these things happen and we have had a myriad of topics this week that we've covered we have covered like it's been a real mishmash this week because I started the week Start the week, I said, okay, we're going to start with the theme this week. Every week we have a theme. The theme was going to be encouragement. And it was. It was. The theme was encouragement for this week. And we covered so many topics that I was thinking about it that like now, just before we went live, and I just thought, what a, an odd and peculiar week, but what a phenomenal week. There was so many like juicy, uh, juicy tidbits in there, better than a chocolate chip cookie to help you take the examples of my week from hell so that you can move forward. We covered everything from, everything from depression to digestive issues. I told you all about the way we wander around in the darkness and then complain and whinge and cry and wonder why we're not getting the things that we wanted, that I had put something in the microwave for my little fur baby, Miss Molly was her food, right? And as I went into the room where the microwave was, it was pitch black. There was no lights on in there. It's in the shed, like a whole nother story for another time, right? The microwave is in the shed. So as I opened the door to go, I could hear it. It was beeping. It was beeping. I could hear it. I could see the light. I could see the light. So not only was this thing beeping at me, it also was shining a light at me, telling me, move forward in this direction. Everything you want is right here. And I said, this is what we do in life. We see the beeping light. We see the light. We hear the beeping. And instead of moving forward in the direction of where we know what we want is, we just turn around and go, no thanks. I'm just going to wander around into the darkness over here, bumping into random things and hope that I get what I want. Then we complain and cry and think, this is never going to happen for me. Why can't I lose weight? Why can't I control myself around food? Why can't I bring chocolate into the house and stay sane? Why is this for everybody else and not for me? Why does my body look like this? Why does it look like that? We are wandering around in the darkness. The light and the sound, the beeping, it's all coming from over here. It's saying, come hither. Everything you want is right here. Everything you want is right here. And we just go, nah, that, that's cool. I'm going to wander around over here. I'm going to see if there's something better for me over here. And we just clonk into things and then wonder why we're so miserable, why we keep getting hurt, why we don't get the results that we want. It's calling you over here. It's not rocket science, but we ignore the light and the sound, everything. It's like a, it's like a, you know, cinematic experience. Come this way. Everything you want is over here. We know instinctually because, you know, I knew I had to walk over to the microwave to get the food out for my fur baby, Miss Molly. I wasn't confused. It was not a hard thing for me to think about. I knew it was over there. It was very obvious. That is where what I wanted was. How stupid of me would it be to just go, oh, that can't be right. I'm just going to wander around here in the darkness. Hope that maybe I'll find something over here that's you know, equally, equally as good or better. Bumping into things in the darkness, wondering why I'm not getting what I want. That is the gist. The light, the sound, instinctually you know. I knew I needed to walk over there and get what I wanted out of the microwave. Well, only a crazy person would wander off into the darkness thinking that I was going to get what I wanted from somewhere over here. But this is what we do with our lives. We know instinctually the right moves to take, the right actions to carry out, the right, the right way to, um, you know, control, control ourselves around food, behave, you know, talk, the right way to talk to ourselves. We know these things, but we carry on like little pork chops, right? Wandering around in the darkness, thinking that maybe if we just do something else random, it's going to somehow get us the results that we want. So these are the sorts of things that we covered this week. We also um, covered depression, talked about that, right? And that's something that not a lot of people talk about. They don't. Why? Because it's not a fun topic. It's not fun. Uh, 
I make it fun because that's just kind of girl that I am. But it's not something that people just, you know, go out and start blabbing to friends about. Oh, I'm so depressed. They don't. They put on the smiley face, pretend like everything's fine, and then we come home and eat ourselves into oblivion because we are so miserable with ourselves, our lives, and our body, which of course, of course, compounds the situation so now if you didn't you know if you were not dissatisfied with your body before because this is what how it was for me i spent years years many many years very 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 depressed like i'm not talking um i'm not talking oh i feel a little down i'm talking like you know serious um chronic chronic depression for years right so that's not just a random thing and i did just say um on the live stream when we talked about that as well i definitely don't want to sort of dismiss anything like that and i would never encourage anybody to just power their way through it is a chemical imbalance like it's it's there's nothing wrong with you it's just something that's not connecting right up here right so definitely take the action that feels right and aligned for you seek medical and professional advice but, you know, I spent really years in a very dark place. And I, uh, what I had said on that particular live stream was like, it felt to me like if I look out my window now, there's not a cloud in the sky. Which like, hallelujah, right? We've actually got a beautiful day here. Stunning, stunning. We have a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky. I see beautiful blue sky. But this is how it feels when you're really, really depressed. And whether you're not even like chronically depressed, but just feeling down about yourself, your life, your body, the way you can't control yourself around food. What it felt like to me was that the whole world was living a carnival with clowns and dancing things and women doing their fabulous and tightrope walking and fairies were dancing. But not me. No. It was like I was getting around with a cloud over my head. And Kylie had just rain, a grey storm cloud and rain. And I could not see. I couldn't see anything else apart from just deep, deep sorrow. There was no explanation for it. I just felt daily, 24-7, deep sorrow. And I know it's different for everybody else. Somebody would say to me why I would just cry, cry all the time. And they were like, why, what, what? And I'm like, I just, I literally could not explain it. I just felt a deep sorrow. I was so miserable inside and I did not know how to fix that. So I turned to food. Of course I did. What else was I going to turn to? We all have our thing, which is why we're here talking together. We all have our thing. Some people do alcohol, you know, drugs, cigarettes. Us, you know. Generally, we'll go to food. I'm, I don't go to the other stuff. It's just not my thing, right? So I will turn to food, and that is what I did, which, of course, I would come home at night. I would put on the face. I would put on the smiley face, right? Paint that face on with, you know, lipstick uh, like this. Pretend like everything was fine. I would go to work. I was working in a corporate environment at that time. Pretend like everything's fine. Totally fine. Hey, Carly, how you doing? Great. <laughs> like this sort of delirium, like of this wacky thing, like uh, overkill. And then I would come home at night because I was exhausted from faking it all day that I would just come home, <laughs> buy a monumental, every single night, I would buy a monumental, like uh, epic size of, you know, army size bag of chips. And I would come home in front of the TV, sit there, cry and eat the chips. And I just, I, I did this, you know, for months. And of course I gained weight. So that compounded everything, made it much more miserable. See, so I'm these are the types of things we covered this week. And it was a week of encouragement. Every week at the start of the week, I set the, I set the theme. And I don't just sort of decide, I usually decide in the beginning of the first live stream, whatever the theme is that's coming up is what we go with. And it just so happens, not surprisingly, that it rolls out for the entire week. And I sort of, the week started with my horror story from last weekend where I created, you know, mega drama mega which is so unlike me <laughs> to create some kind of mega drama but I did I did and that actually rolled on to as being sort of the theme of my week which is why encouragement was the thing so as we wrap it up this you know today at the close of this week I really want to encourage you all as we stay on topic just encourage you to come at your decisions and everything that you do in life from a place of love and kindness for yourself Love and kindness. It is one of the, it's the theme of everything I, I do. You know, it's, it's the underlying foundation behind a lot of the courses and the things that I run because you're never going to see the results that you want in any area of your life if you're coming from a place of disgust and self-hatred with and about yourself. It's just not possible. You know, yesterday I mentioned, um, we talked about the digestive issues and I mentioned that I um, have to do this, oh God, the hideous FOD, low FODMAP. Oh, oh, 
hideous low FODMAP diet. Like if anybody else has had to do this thing, like just, you know, throw it there in the comments box and let me know because it's not a lot of fun. Um, there are a lot of choices and things that you would normally eat that get whipped away from you. They're taken away and you just got to eat what, you know, they tell you to eat. And I had to eventually come to terms with that and just go, that is not fun for me. I like to have freedom of food choices, but I had to approach it from a place of love and kindness for myself. This thing, this on that thing is not trying to um, deprive me and take things away from me. It's trying to give me something. It's trying to give me back my, you know, digestive health. So when you switch your mindset, switch perception. Yesterday I said everything, everything that you do and see and believe runs first through the filters of your perception. And based on that, you decide what things mean, how they are, you know, how good they are or how bad they are. It's all run through your perception, which is why two people can have the exact same experience, but they will come out with a different story to tell because it's all seen through the filter of your perception. So as we round out this week, I just really want to encourage you to check your filters. Check your filter, like a coffee filter, right? What is it, What filters are you using up here? Are you using positive ones, empowering ones, encouraging ones, or ones that make you feel bleh? and give you Blair results. Blair is not fun. Nobody likes Blair. We don't want it, right? So change your filters. If they're dirty, right, like a coffee filter. If your filters are dirty, change them. Step up, change your filters, people. Change your filters. Get ones that are gonna give you the results that you want. So choose accordingly. Choose accordingly. Nobody else can do this for you. But the good news is you have the power. You've always had the power. You've always had the power and the ability to check your filters and change them when they're dirty. So this is about oh, changing the filters, changing perception. Um, it is about overcoming every single last block that is holding you back. Everything that stands between you and the body that you want. Because you hear me say all the time, anybody can lose weight. A trained monkey can lose weight. That is not hard. It is the blocks that are stopping you from keeping that weight off. The blocks that every time you lose 5 kilos, you gain back 15. Every time you lose 20 kilos, you gain back 35. Like, what is up with that? If we don't step up and go, I've had enough of the self-sabotage. I am so done with this. I know I demand more. I know I deserve more and I demand more. You will never, ever solve these issues if you don't find out what the underlying beliefs are. That's what it's all about. So once we know, we can create new and empowering ones. We can completely change the way we our brains are wired. But, you know, it's not going to happen just in your sleep. It's not going to happen with another diet. It's not going to happen with any meal replacement shakes, pills, it doesn't matter what you do, if you don't step up and take responsibility for the underlying foundation of what is causing you, the perceptions, the filters, then nothing will change. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just being real because I know, I know because I lived it for 30 years. I often say I feel like I must be the world's slowest learner. Like if you just looked up world's slowest learner in Guinness Book of Records, I'm quite sure you'd see my smiley face there. Because it just, I just couldn't accept. I just thought diets have to be the way because that's what they tell us. They say that you've got to do this, you've got to eat this, you've got to move your body like this, and then you're going to be deliriously happy forever. And you'd be like, yeah, I'm going to look like a Victoria's Secret model. I just have to do what they say. But they, would, they, uh, they lied. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna put it out there. It's actually not true. Um, you know, first of all, a body shape isn't gonna give you eternal bliss like they told me that it was. If you've heard my story before, I lost all the mega weight in the world with one of the fancy diets. Like really, I got really, really skinny. Not, oh, looking fabulous, I'm talking real skinny. And that's when my marriage fell apart. So, um, you know, did the fabulous body allow me to feel eternal bliss? No, that was the most painful period of my life. Uh, no, my world fell apart when I was in my finally my fabulous body that I thought I'd always wanted. I was in the most painful experience I'd ever been in. So, because I had never bothered to take the time to find out what my own self-sabotaging patterns were, I completely, I just ate my way through the experience and gained back 15 kilos and, you know, there you go. Another story for another time. But I give you this example to say that if we don't step up and take responsibility for our own filters, then just don't expect things to change. That's the bottom line. There is always an avenue and there is always a way, but you have to step up and take responsibility and go, yeah, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm prepared to change my filters and whatever it takes is what I will do. Drop so your comments and questions below. I will always come back and play with you later. Until then, you know how we roll. The only person who has the power to change your life is you. When you decide that you have the power to change your own filters, mm, 
that is when you've got what it takes. Until next week, I'm sending you so much love. Bye for now, sexy people.